literary side to these drawings, yeah? Uh, they are not necessarily pointing to a building to be built, sometimes more, sometimes less, yeah? But there's some sort of a, 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 I would say, abstract world where all these images exist, float, in my own imagination, if you will, that uh, suggest places where architects would like to be, yeah? Uh, some projects have been built, some others they will never be built. I don't make really much of a distinction. Let me put this way then. Uh, and I think, you know, if I can, if you don't mind, you know, refer to your work, yes. Uh, uh, I might be wrong, yes, so don't over, don't hate me for this for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, I mean, in practically speaking, you can also say architecture is about voids, yes? Yeah, and that thing, that's, that's what you believe in, and I think you're absolutely right. So that is, that is in itself the very first definition of an absence of architecture, if you think that architecture is everything that has a physical, yeah? Okay? But, if you really know, if you're thinking about it, besides, you know, you're using all this space of the bed, you know, and, and all the things that you're, you know, yeah, you actually live in, a, in the emptiness, yes, of space. It's a bit of a, a question more than an answer sometimes. You understand? Yeah, it's not descri describing the building or the architecture to be built. It's some form of an association that you would have to establish with a potential, yeah? So you have to forgive me. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in this type of uh, uh, solitary kind of engagement because I believe the architecture is a discipline, and it, it 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 does require this depth of thinking, in my opinion. And any activity, any gallery, any institution like this should be welcome. Yes, not wars, but galleries of architecture. Because we are going to live on this planet, you know, for a long time. And I believe that we can enhance the earth. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here with Giuliano Ferenzoli because I've known him for 46 years. I met him in New York when I first came to New York. But one of, the, one of the exciting things about this exhibition is every single drawing is an idea. And that's what people don't get in architecture. So I'm Stella Ferenzoli. I'm the daughter of Giuliano Ferenzoli. And I'm the son of Giuliano Ferenzoli. And I had the pleasure of watching uh, his the past 30 years of uh, his career, as long as I've been alive, and seen um, the progression of works that he's he's been he's done, and uh, coming as even as a child coming to the studio where you work and seeing all the projects on the walls is very inspiring. Um, and it was always a bit, there was always a little bit of a magical quality to them because I, I didn't understand them very well when I was little, but the older I got, the more I connected to them, I felt that it was, it's really been a beautiful experience to see, see that journey. And, and I know I've only been alive for a part of your career and part of your time as an architect. Thank you, Juliana. I love that you you uh, came in and the other day into the gallery and, and you said, yeah, 
It's really all about love. Yes. <laughs> so thank you for that.